Hello, people, and welcome to an episode of Fun Games. In case you aren't familiar with the series, I did it a while ago, and I decided to bring it back up again. Um, it is basically where I play a game, and I don't really care about the score. But this time, I'm actually going to try to teach you guys something. I'll, this isn't for the people who get, like, two-digit kills every single game, but the people who don't. This is to show you that you can do well even when you're being completely retarded. You just have to work at it. Okay, so today I'm going to be using the ride shield with uh, C4 and uh, I only use it A12 when I really have to, so yeah. Now, I get most of the kills with the C4 this game because I always have really bad connection whenever I play Mario Warfare 2. So I could never get any kills with the Ratchet. Well, actually, I got some, but there weren't very many. Which was not very fun, per se. Now, the thing about using the Ratchet with C4 is that you're not able to use the, um,. You're not able to use Blast Shield, so it really works to your disadvantage, but to your advantage as well. The advantage with using C4 on a Ratchet class, as well as using like throwing knives and stuff, is that it increases the range that you're effective of when it comes to killing people. Like, if you're just using a Ratchet Shield and a Shotgun, like, let's say I had a blast show. I might be able to survive most of the explosions, but let's just say someone's wiles away with an assault rifle. They're gonna be able to pick me off pretty easily. So therefore, I throw, you know, C4. Everything's done now. In this game, there were a lot of like noob tubers, so it really was not that fun to not have blast show. But I got most of my kills with the C4, so it worked to my advantage and to my disadvantage. Hey look, one kill. With it. Now, I watched this kill cam. Look at this. He was clearly shooting at my shield, and yet he still got me. I don't quite understand why and or how, but that's how it happened. So, scavenger is really important if you're running a... This is really basic stuff for all you guys that actually know how to play this game very well. But this is for the, like, the, the newbies. Well, not the newbies, but, but the people who are less experienced. When you are using the C4 or any sort of, like, equipment with the Riot Shield, you always want to... Besides Riot Shield, of course. Um, you always want to use something that I'm not trying to okay you always want to use scavenger because after you run out of your C4 or your throwing knife you're gonna need to get like you know what do I say? you're gonna need to pick up more in order to be just as effective as you were a couple seconds ago before you used it um so when Let's say you use a C4 on one guy and there's another guy right behind him. Well, if you don't have scavenger to pick up, like, a dead body or something, you know, the blue bags, then you're probably gonna end up dying, you know? Now, this isn't the best class for new, uh, p players to Call of Duty. Um, it's actually a terrible class for new players of Call of Duty. They should, I would recommend a saw rifles and something like that. But this is fun games, you know, we like to have fun here. Um please keep in mind that if you want to try out a class that I use or want to refer a class, you always can do that at uh my channel page or you can just send me a private message. But my channel is small enough in order to keep in touch with my subscribers and suggestions that they leave so if you have any suggestions whether it be to the gameplay the commentary anything whatsoever you can just kind of send me a message about it and I'll most of the time respond to it unless it's really retarded and speaks for itself um now before anyone asks this question 
Um, I record with a Hophog HDP VR because every single video I put out, someone always asks me, what do you record with? And it really puzzles me. But anyway, as you see, when you are being shot at, you always want to throw the C4 in an area in which you think they will follow you. Like, let's say I'm walking through a doorway, but there's someone shooting at me from behind. So I spin around, throw the C4 at the doorway, pull out the riot shield, and face the doorway. So when, that way I know when they're coming in, and I can double tap X in order to use the C4 instead of just pressing the button. A lot of people make that mistake. I don't really know why. It works in all Call of Duties except for COD 4. So, tip. Actually, I'm not sure about World of War. I haven't ever played World of War. Please let me know if it's good. I mean, I've, I've played it once at a friend's house, but that's about it. Anyway, enough about that. Um, you can actually play the objective with these retarded classes and increases your score. That's why I'm always kind of semi at the top of the leaderboard. Now, I don't know if, like, you've noticed, but I kill myself a lot with the C4. And that's perfectly fine because it's fun games and you can do whatever you want. You can not do anything for all that care. You can spend the whole game just... I don't know. Throwing flash grenades at people and try to see how many assists you can get. I mean... Yeah, I mean... Totally just ran out of what to say there and just kind of blanked out. Anyway. Uh, this fun game series will go on. It's either going to be weekly... Or it'll just be on whatever I want. I'm usually really bad when it comes to weekly things. So it's probably just going to be more of that whenever I get a chance to play the game. Or whenever I get a chance to upload a video. Anyway, uh, that was my doorbell. Um, yeah, so I really wanted to try and focus on the gameplay, but I'm really bad at that. I was trying to write the list down in pointers, but I get really bored with that too. Because I'm really bad at making lists. As you can see right there, I blew myself up again. It's partially because of Sanger Close and partially because I stand way too close to the explosion, but that's perfectly fine. I do that with the small and Modern Warfare 3 all the time, and my KD is still perfectly fine in that game. Most of the time what I do in fun games is since I really enjoy my KD being over 1.5 um, I only do fun games in older games so Black Ops, um, COD 4 and Modern Warfare 2 I'll be doing fun games but nothing like no Modern Warfare 3 I'm gonna do fun games cause that would absolutely crush my spirits because my KD would go down so much Oh god, I just defeated the whole purpose of fun games, to not care about KD. Anyway, well, I'm actually going through this commentary really quick, I'm usually really bad at getting things to say. Um, as you can see, you really want to, like, I always die in the open, and that's a really big mistake that I always make. Because when it comes to the riot shield, you don't necessarily have a 360 degree angle that you're blocked from, which a lot of people seem to mistake. A lot of people think, oh yeah, it's a giant wall and, and no one can shoot through it. No, you have to crouch down, you have to maneuver yourself in a way that the bullets do not hit your body. In a sense. And, yeah, I mean, that's basically it. As you play the game more often, you end up developing a skill to get two-digit numbers every single time. I've developed that skill a while ago, and it helps a lot, you know, in the general reason that a lot of people want to play with you if you're good at the game. Yeah. But when you're messing around as a fun game, Either your friends are okay with it, or they really hate you afterward. <sighs> I don't want to say that in a negative way, I'm just saying a lot of people 
don't enjoy like I know most of my friends they are really competitive when it comes to like Call of Duty so whenever I like maybe mess around trying to record a fun game or anything it, it doesn't work out very well you know why that's right because I am just always fooling around anyway 21 to 33 I believe is what the score was and it was pretty good anyway thanks for watching um be comment subscribe I guess and uh enjoy the videos to come and that are already there anyway bye